My first question, tell me about your background and why you believe you're the best candidate to lead Central Illinois in Congress. Thanks for the question, Noel. So um, my background, I've spent my entire career working um, on behalf of working families, helping people. I worked for the firefighters union. I've been in firehouses, helping to make sure that they had the training and equipment that they needed to do a very, very dangerous job, a little bit safer in our communities. I also often talk about how I'm one of the few congressional candidates that's been on a kill floor. I worked for the United Food and Commercial Workers Union where we represented meat packers, retail workers, making sure that they were able to have good wages, benefits, safe working conditions. These are the type of issues that I have really committed my entire career to. It's what inspired me to want to run for Congress. It's the experience that I think I offer to the 13th Congressional District and why I'll be a great Congresswoman when I get there. And then right now, one of the top issues Americans are facing is inflation. You know, yes. they're paying higher prices at the grocery store, mm -hmm. higher prices at gas stations. What specific policies would you like to see at the federal level to help working middle class Americans? Well, you're completely right. That is the number one issue in this campaign is how we're going to tackle rising costs. One of the things I think we should be doing is targeting middle class tax relief. I think that's something that I would be um, championing on day one when I get to Congress. I think the other things we need to look at is how we're making health care more affordable. Uh, seniors that are living on fixed incomes, how are we helping them to afford their prescription drugs? Uh, you saw in Congress Democrats were leading the way um, to make sure that Medicare could negotiate for lower drug prices. Uh, that we could cap the cost of insulin for seniors that are on Medicare. We need to be building on those types of common sense proposals that provide real relief to people struggling to fill up gas ta their gas tank, uh, struggling to pay for groceries. Those are the type of measures that I will be pushing for in Congress. Yeah, and speaking of lowering the cost of health care and prescription drugs, mm -hmm. would you want to see more price caps on certain prescription medicines? Because even at the state level here in Illinois, we have some extra ones that aren't there at the federal level. You're absolutely right, and I think that that's what you saw Congress begin to make some progress on. They limited, um, they're going to allow for Medicare to negotiate for lower drug prices, but only for a select number of drugs. We need to be expanding that. Um, I did a roundtable actually here in Springfield where I listened to seniors and just talking about insulin. Insulin only costs $3 a vial. So the fact that um, seniors today, until we were able to cap the cost of insulin at $35, were paying hundreds of dollars just for their life-saving medicine. Um, that's what we need to be making sure that we're capping the cost of insulin, not just for our seniors, which was a right step in the right direction, but for everyone, for young people that are struggling with diabetes. We really need to tackle this in Congress. And then another big issue on voters' mind this election season is, of course, abortion with the federal government's decision. Yeah. Do you believe that there should be some kind of abortion rights codified into federal law? That's an important issue. Again, um, I think there's a lot at stake for women in this election. Um, I'm someone that has been pro-choice my entire life. I think it's really important that a woman have the right, the freedom to really make her own decision about her own body. I don't think that a politician should be in that room. So when I do get to Congress, I would be supporting uh, codifying Roe versus Wade to protect women's, women's right to make their own decisions about their own bodies. And then do you support President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan? There's been multiple lawsuits filed over a lot of people saying that it's just kind of a short term solution to a bigger problem that we're facing. And that is exactly my concern with it, too. I don't think it gets to the root cause of the problem. I think that we do need to be tackling college affordability. I think we can be doing that in a lot of different ways. We would we should be supporting um, expansion of Pell Grants. But I also have talked a lot about on this campaign that a four year degree should not be the only pathway to the middle class. I worked in the labor movement. I've seen the power and um, uh, the, the wonderful union apprenticeship programs that allow people to get the skills training that they need and they can come out of those programs without any debt um, and fill jobs that um, are, are open right now. I think that's a great thing that we should be looking to expand. I also had the opportunity to tour our community colleges. We have great community colleges throughout the 13th Congressional District, Parkland Community College, Richland Community College, giving working people um, the workforce development, the skills that they need to get into jobs that are good paying jobs that are a pathway to the middle class. I think that's another really important way we should be looking at college affordability. Thank you. And then do you believe that there needs to be any more gun control at the federal level at least? What can the government do to combat 
gun crimes mm -hmm. and just rising crime rates across the country. Well, you are seeing um, an epidemic of gun violence even right here in central Illinois. In Decatur, there was a shooting not just a week ago in Champaign on a per capita basis. Champaign has one of the highest rates of gun violence in the country. Um, so we do need be, to be tackling gun violence. I think one of the things I've been very supportive of was the bipartisan um, gun sense uh, measures that passed, which allowed for us to strengthen red flag laws, uh, strengthen universal background checks, close the boyfriend loophole, loophole. This is something that the majority of Americans support. You can support the Second Amendment, as I do, but also support um, common sense gun safety measures that get guns out of the hands of the wrong people. I also do think we need to be investing in mental health. We have a mental health crisis um, happening as we are still emerging out of the recovery from COVID. Uh, we need to be investing in mental health, and that also, I think, will help get to some of the root causes of gun violence. And then how much support do you think that the United States should give Ukraine right now with the war? Because, you know, it is happening overseas, mm -hmm. of course, but we are seeing the ripple effects that it's having energy prices, gas prices here in our country and in Europe as well. Well, we always need to be standing up to Putin and dictators in this world. And I think that's what you're seeing we're doing now. We need to be supporting the Ukrainian people who are fighting valiantly to maintain their own sovereignty. So I support the people of Ukraine and we need to be standing up again to Putin. But I think to your other issue, Noel, we need to be finding ways to be investing in more domestic energy. Um, that will create more energy independence. One of the issues that I've been supportive of is the pot in Pawnee, there's a natural gas plant that just recently got permitted, which will one, create a lot of jobs, but also create more energy within central and southern Illinois. We need to be looking way looking for ways that um, increase our domestic energy production and less reliance on places like Russia for our energy. So you believe we need to kind of focus on producing our own energy, finding yes. our own energy resources so that we don't have to rely on other countries? Absolutely. Yes, we should. Okay, and then is there anything else you want to say? Well, we're 18 days out from the election, and so it's really important that people get out and vote. You can actually vote early. Um, so we're just encouraging people to, to exercise their right to vote. There's a lot at stake in this election, um, and so we hope people get out and vote, and obviously I would ask for their support. All right, thank you so much, Nikki. I appreciate it. Thank you, Noelle.